Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, this playthrough was supposed to come out about a month ago. I apologize for that. So, here's a little meter for- OH, THE IRONY! Let's begin, shall we? You were supposed to start- Oh, I didn't know, but anyway, uh, yeah. this is a game we've been- This is a game I personally have been wanting to do a let's play of for months, but I've been wanting to upload this around the time of the actual Olympics, which is July, so- Yeah, so not? in case you're wondering, this is not gonna- This is not live commentary, nor is this gonna be- nor is this being recorded in July. It's being recorded in May. So, just, yes. just so we can get it out on time. And yes, welcome to our new channel. Oh wait, that was on another video. Yeah, welcome to our new channel, which is going to begin with this one. We're going to officially be calling it that, but the other commentaries will probably have some sort of mention on this channel of the other channel. You know, the lead channel. But anyway, this is Mario and Sonic at the London freaking 2012 Olympic freaking games. And by your own experience, would you prefer the Wii version, which is the one I played over the 3DS version? I'll actually talk about that later on in the commentary, but right now, looking at this, this is actually, I love, I don't know. You can always tell there's that Sega tends to go for really high quality opening cutscenes. I mean, look at this, this is beautiful. Yeah. Just once it comes to the Wii U, then we're gonna get gameplay with that quality. Actually, you know what? I wish that were so. Because I don't think they've... I don't think it's been easily perfected yet, because... It's not... Well, I hate to talk about Sonic Generations again, but when you think about it... Making gra making models like these in the actual game, that would be insane, because... Looking at this now, if you look at it closely, the, um... The models for this opening are actually... They're slightly different than the models that you get for, say, a really high-quality Sonic game. Like, look at Knuckles' model, and then look at the model in Generations. Or look at Mario's model here, and look at the model for, um... Him and say... Super Mario Galaxy. Yep. Speaking of Galaxy, that was Battle Rock Galaxy you saw in the last... ...part of the scene. Yes, but... If I had a choice between the Wii version and the 3DS version, both of which I have played... This is the version I recommend! Just because it has way more creativity going for it, there's a lot more variety, and it's not just limited to a story mode and a couple of unlockables. This one is the definite version. And plus, who cannot like this shot? Them on top of the Big Ben Clock Tower. I'll tell you who, them fanboys from the 1990s. Oh no! They're shaking hands! That's not right! Well, you deserve a poke in the eye. Yes, I do. But well, anywho, are you gonna call yourself Chrono 600? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to go with Linguistic Chef because I was originally gonna do this on another profile, but I couldn't fit in Chef, so I just went with Linguistic. Ah. So we're. So oh, in case you guys are wondering, this, um. The video, the raw footage that we're using, this is really old footage. Like, this dates back, I'd say, five months ago? Uh, November 19th, which is the day I left for France, actually. Oh, wow. Ah, that's historic. But anywho, London Party, which is the thing I wish they put in the 3DS version. Yeah, we're gonna start out with the easy mode of this, then we're gonna move to all the Olympic and Dream events, and then back to the last two Yay. London Party events. Oh, this is actually my first time seeing this, so... I have not seen anything yet. Okay, oh, and by the way, we're gonna keep score of every character's placement in each event. Three points for gold medal, two points for silver medal, one point for bronze medal, one point for third in London Party, Three points for second in London party, and five points for first in London party. Yeah, we're gonna keep score. And plus, this is gonna be one of those this is gonna be one of those highly edited things. So yeah, all those illustrations you see for the winning groups. Yes. For the this better get. You need to at least put a video response of these parts in each part of the other video so that this at least gets some kind of significant view, because Oh man, I'm gonna put my. Uh, this is gonna be a labor of love when this is put out. Yep. I mean, I'm sorry that I'm 
and making you kind of work nah, with nah, me on this. Nah, 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 this is something that just kills time for me. Yeah. And I gave each character their own nationality, too. Yes. Actually, you know what? You want to be interesting? I actually noticed in this game there are no new characters to select. Yeah, that's something that kind of disappointed me. It's the same thing, it's kind of the same deal with uh, Mario Kart 7, whereas they had new characters, but the new characters, compared to the ones that they dropped out from previous games, were not too great. No. You had, uh, Honey Queen. Who asked for that? Metal Mario, which sounded cool at first, but then playing as him, he's a beast! And let's see, who else, who else? Uh, I think that may be it. Hmm, that's a shame. But actually, thinking about it now, I wish they'd at least made Cream the, Cream the Rabbit a playable character. Yeah, I wish they would have. I wish they would have made the judges and boss characters the playable characters. Actually, you know what, of all things, I think for all of them, I would probably, I would probably go more if Rouge and, um, if Rouge, Jet, and, uh, I'd say Rouge, Jet, and Dry Bowser were all playable characters. That would be pretty cool. The other ones, eh, I don't know. They kind of mess up the competition. Because yeah. one, boost flow. So they could easily win the long jump tournament. You scared me chasing me all of a sudden like that here. No, I can't even read that fast enough. I can. Oh, well, I, can do with my, I can read fast with my eyes, but I can't read vocally very fast. Oh, yes, this. The one... Wait, are we actually going to see it? What? Ah, darn. See what? I thought we were going to see Orbot and Cubot. Uh, that's if you get a random space, and then what they do is they multiply your stickers if you get that lucky. Ah, I see. But anyway... Our first four contestants, by the way, are Mario of Italy, Bowser Jr. of the People's Republic of China, Princess Peach of the United Kingdom, and Shadow of the Republic of Korea, also known as South Korea. Jeez! I thought I thought you were going to give him North Korea since you don't like Shadow. No, if I had done that, people would have been all over me. No, they would have compared him to the likes of, I'm not even going to say because he's dead. He's no. dead! I mean, I can't stand Shadow, but I gotta say, I put him as South Korea because, I mean, he's part of the gun military now, and gun's heroic, so I, and since South Korea has a rather decent military at the 38th parallel, I thought I should have done that. Ah, right, right. Ah, and now we're getting to Nump. Wow. It really fleshed out the London party. I'm from London. So... You, this is this is really really what this is a mini game yeah you have to collect stickers and they're being fired out of these cannons which look more like chimney iron chimneys i need to buy the wii version of this game because i think i got the wrong version yeah i think you did because the 3ds version i mainly got because it was it was actually on sale for twenty dollars at gamestop i got it at a good deal but oh my i i picked out on the wrong game because that, that's kind of cool it, i mean it's not it's not too much thinking about it now but it's cool that they actually made that into a mini game if you got an orange sticker in that mini game, that meant that's a sticker that counts for your score. The gray ones don't count. Oh, I see. So it's hard. It's real hard to find them. So what's the main objective of this game? Whoever gets to all their sticker pages completed first wins. And Shadow just got them on there. Oh look, it's Orbot and Cubot. Characters that. Wow, it's a Dark Chow. Yeah. And all the Dark Chow does is change your mystery space. Ah. Well, I think Orbot and Cubot have now been reduced to cameo characters in party games. Oh, just to let you know, this recording of London Party was actually a blow- Mind run. I never- I hadn't done London Party the night before when we had my birthday dinner, so- Oh, wow. This was a blind run. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh! Are you gonna- Oh. What? You went for the normal stuff. I prefer Olympic events, Stalin. That's just me. Are you eventually gonna do the dream events, though, in, in these? Maybe. 
I'm going jungle. to take that maybe as a hell yeah. Possibly. I, I don't remember. I haven't watched my own videos in a while. Ah. Well, I, I don't know. I remember... I actually do like the soundtrack for this game. For some reason, 2011 is when they really dished out the music in these games. Yes, it does. Because, I mean, Generations had awesome... Generations had an amazing soundtrack, and the other game that came out, this this game that was kind of left out in the that was kind of left out in the shadow. This game still had amazing music. I mean, I mean oh man, listening to, to this. Game, this game is a, this game is a lot better compared to the Beijing game. I can tell you that for sure. Beijing? Oh, you mean the 2006 one? 2008. 2006 was Torino, Italy, and that was a Winter Olympics. Really? This yes. game came out. No, this game came out 2007. Yeah, and 2007 was the year before the Summer Olympic year in Beijing. Right, right. It was supposed to be a model year. I actually do remember. I believe it or not, this is the only game I don't have in the collection. I actually have the other two games. I didn't like. The, I mean, the first one was okay, but it eventually got old after about a month. I would say it took me about two weeks, and I managed to unlock everything, and it wasn't as surprising it did, as this, but. You know what I noticed in this? They sort of updated the graphics for the Nintendo characters. Yes. I don't know, yeah. my only beef with this game alongside alongside the character selection is the fact that they still have not updated the graphics yet. I'm not sure whether or not it's just easier to develop a game develop a game and kind of, you know, keep it at gold status before the game comes out by just keeping the same graphics, but I wish they'd at least made new graphics for certain characters. I mean, that middle lip thing that the, some of the Sonic characters have going for them, it looks strange. It, it, it looks strange, and I'm not sure why. Yay, bonus stickers! And all the bonus stickers are chow. Oh, wow. And there by the way, go. since it's only 28 seconds left, we're gonna see you in the next part where we find out who wins the first round of London Party. Will yeah. it be will it be Mario, Bowser Jr., Princess Peach, or Shadow the Hedgehog? Oh, just Let's making initial out. notes now. We're gonna do it after after the end of each round, not the end of each video, because that would be insane. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Anyway, we'll see you in the end of round one. Right? Right round yes. one. Yes. Okay, alright, then I'll see you in round one, you chubby weasels.